The only thing you will say now is that it is love. That's exactly what it is. Love. Oh, please, put that to the birds. Melody, I see no love in this. All I see is stupidity, foolishness, and above all, lack of common sense. Are you trying to insult me? How do I bow down to the same thing I've been saying? How would you want to marry a man without no job? <laughs> Melody, have you even thought about what people will say about this your decision? Oh, please, Nelly. I want to be given a break on this issue. The decision on who I intend to spend the rest of my life with is my business and no other person. How am I even sure that this guy has not used something on you? <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I don't know what you mean by that. This is me. I met this guy by chance and he has proved to me that he is a man. Yeah, right. I even took him to my mother, she demanded. And she handed me over to him as his wife. We are planning our wedding. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why you're kicking against us. Melody, your mother has just handed you over to a liability for her husband. And you're not even bothered about it. Why do you want to destroy yourself? Please, just try and listen to me for once in your life. I beg you, please. Forget the fact that he has no job. Mm. He has all the qualifications. And I know that with time he would get a job. I am getting married to him because I believe that he has a bright future. Oh, there she goes again with the future thing. <laughs> Melody, your father would be cursing you in his grave for this stand. Trust me. Oh, please. Just leave my late father out of this. I'm not trying to run you father, but I'm not just comfortable with this. This, this, this is your decision. Please try and listen to me. <sighs> you see, I, I brought you to this town because the opportunity is here. Hmm? You lived in my house and you lacked nothing. You left this very house without notice. And you're back telling me you want to get married? I say, Kizito, I'm sorry, so sorry I left that way. Okay? But, you see, man must move on. Hmm? You're my friend, and there's no way I'm going to do my wedding without telling you. Chidi, why are you destroying yourself? Hmm? Why would you be thinking of getting married when you, have, when you have no job? I mean, how in this world do you think of, of coping when you have no means of livelihood? Sikizito, I went for her because I love her. She's working and I trust her, absolutely. We're going to leave on her salary till I start working. Chidi! Oh, this is ridiculous. Did you hear yourself? I, I can't believe you're the one saying this. That you are going to live on the salary of a woman? That she live on you instead? Should I live on you instead, Kizito? See, man, I've moved on. I've moved on with the one I love. You have moved on. Hear yourself. You are dead wrong when you said you have moved on. On the contrary, you have placed yourself on reverse. Yes. And you have brought shame to your family. I mean, that is not the way of the Igbo man. The Igbo man fends for his wife. The Igbo man catars for his family. How could you move in with a woman and you have the ghost to tell me that you'll be living on a salary? See, Kizito, see, Kizito, Kizito, forget all these things you're saying. Just forget it, eh? We love each other and I know we can cope. You are the only true friend I have. Come put yourself and support me. Or are you going to turn me down? I 
Machidi, if I will advise you, cancel this wedding. Yes, cancel this wedding and come back to this house. Come back and replan your life. Everybody wants me to cancel the wedding. Everybody's against me, even my own mother. Sichidi, I want you to compose yourself and be the only one that will support me. You're my friend. I want you to be in my wedding. Please. Are you possibly walking out of I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. I don't want anybody that will make me start hating Melody. Or say anything that will make me start hating Melody. Please. She's all I have. GD, Basin. This is not you. Jobless man be thinking of getting married. but he's not picking. That has been my fate for days now. My son no longer picks my calls. It's obvious he has made up his mind to marry that girl. Eh? Why is it that it's my own son that will not listen to his mother? Sister, it's okay. I want you to calm down and allow me and all this. If you say so, but I just don't understand it. Would he even answer you if you call him? Do you know he took some people to her village to go and pay her bride price? I tried to turn my son into a vegetable. That's all right. Do you have his address in Asaba? I can travel to Asaba first thing tomorrow morning to see him. Yes, I can do that for you. You're not even listening to what I'm telling you. My son has no address. He has no address in the city, nor in the village. Akatana Mwam has moved into a woman's house. The woman he wants to marry, he moved into her house. Eh? What do people even say when they hear that my own son moved into a, 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 a woman's house? My sister, it's okay. I perfectly understand how you feel. But I think there is something we are overlooking here. Yes. For a woman to accommodate a man in a house in these modern times, it is very, very possible that they are seriously in love with each other. Yes. 
Thomas, is that how you married? Did you, mar did you not marry in the modern times? Is that how you married? Look at my handsome boy that graduated with second class upper. A good foundation was laid for him and he did well. Now he turns around to embarrass me. It's okay, it's all right. Okay, uh, uh, excuse me, let me give him a call and see if he will pick. If he will answer you now. Let me give it a try. What try, <coughs> It's ringing. It's ringing. It's not the ringing. It's the picking up that is the problem. Uh, 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 Chidi, how are you? Yes, Uncle, I'm fine. It's just that I'm having problems with my mom. I know, I know. Uh, uh, but Chidi, what is this thing I'm hearing? That you no longer pick your mother's calls. Why? The more I get her hot. But, uh, Uncle, Uncle, you understand. You understand. I originally don't want to bother you. But now it's clear to me that you're the only one I can talk to. Now listen to me. I am not going to pretend as if I don't know what the problem is. Yes. In fact, as I speak to you now, your mother is here with me. Do you understand? I perfectly understand how your mother feels. She's feeling pains. Dano. Uncle, my mother feeling bad is... She's feeling bad for nothing. The girl and the marriage. And I want to wear it. It's a decent girl, Uncle. And she has the fear of God. Uncle, I love her. Uh, but, 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 Chidi, come to think of it. Why would you think of getting married when you are still unemployed? Why? Thank you. That is not the way you were taught. Oh, why, why did you do that? Uncle, unemployment rate is high in Nigeria. It's not my fault. But I know that someday I am going to get employed. I just want my mother to show me this mother care. And me and my wife, we have this understanding. At least she's earning some salary. I can depend on that till I get employed. It's okay. Uh, that is by the way. Where can I see you tomorrow as I come to Asaba? Where? Uncle? Are you coming to us about my mother tomorrow? You see, that is what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want my mother's problem. Please, uncle. No, no, no. You're, you are getting it all wrong. I am not coming with your mother. I am coming alone. Yes, I want us to see face to face. It will do us a lot of good. Uh, yes, yes. Can you please send me your address? Okay, after this call, I'll send the address to you. Oh, very good, very good. I, I, I'll be waiting. Okay, thank you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Bye. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He said he's gonna send me his address. That means I'll be traveling first thing tomorrow morning to Asaba to see him one on one. Sister, I, I want to tell you this with all amount of sincerity. I trust your son Chidi. Chidi will not be wasting his time with that girl if she is not good enough for him. Did Chidi t tell you why he has not been picking my calls? He did not say that. But I'm thinking seriously that he's trying to be the good boy that he has always been. He knows that you will not listen to him whichever way he tries to explain it. And he doesn't want you to continue feeling bad. Sister, I want you to please calm down as I have advised you already and allow me to handle it from here. Things are going to be good. It's okay, don't worry yourself again. Sister Melody, the church does not encourage wastages. And that is why I have agreed to wed both of you. I invited you here just to be sure that he has your consent in his plans. He has my consent, Father. Okay, very 
Scotland. We have actually agreed to do a private wedding. In fact, we have printed out our invitation cards for just 15 people. Well, he told me that his mother is the kicking against the wedding. It's not as if we cannot wait both of you without his mother. But I want you to make more efforts as to win the heart of your mother in law. I understand, Father. And I am doing everything within my powers to make her see that we are both in love. And I know that all this would end soon. My daughter, I love your faith. But you must understand that faith without works is dead. You must try to win the heart of that woman. It will help you. Okay, Father. I will do my best. All right then. Get out. Get out. so funny. Oh funny? my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ew. Uh. Baby, I'll be going to Enugumo tomorrow to go see your mom. Why? Um, I went to see Father John. And he advised me to make sure that I get my mother-in-law's consent. That's why I'm going. You see, baby, it's not that I'm trying to ask you to disobey the priest. But I wouldn't want you to go. I understand your fears. Same argument. That your mother is very difficult and has refused to see the love that binds us together. Baby, I believe that we would be able to make her see reason with us. Besides, we're already married. Melody, mm -hmm. sweetheart, I know my mother very well. She is my mother. And I know her very, very well. She will make sure you regret that trip. <laughs> I tell you. That's not a problem. If I go to her and then she drives me out, I will cry and to see you reasons with me. Mm -hmm. My love, all that I'm unnecessary. Uncle Thomas, my mother's younger brother, he is the only one she listens to. Yeah, and you know what? He's coming to our home tomorrow. I've already sent him the address. Mm -hmm. I've sent him the address. So it's better we wait for him to come than you going to see my mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. So do you think that Uncle Thomas can convince your mother to attend the wedding? Mm, I don't know, but I trust him. I trust him, yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, let's assume it's your brother. Would you encourage him to do what he's doing right now? Uh, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. I asked him to cancel the wedding. Yes. And to return to my house. I mean, he doesn't have a job. And he cannot manage in marriage. I understand if he is, sir. He is jobless. But I am working. We are man and wife. And that makes us one. We can live on my salary. 
Why do I have these feelings that you want to destroy the life of this young man? GD Ibezem is an Igbo man. And Igbo men are known for taking good care of their wives. Please, do not force him to live the life of those who allow women to take care of them. Because if you have pinned him down, please unpin him so he can use his senses. With all due respect, sir, that is an uncharitable statement. And it's not fair. Look who is talking of fairness. You that wants to destroy the life of a young man, are you talking of fairness? Kizito, what I what I what I telling my wife? This is nice. Anyways, I just told your wife the same truth I told you and you refused to take it. And what's the truth? That your practice is not in line with the practice of our people. Oh yes. You are not the one getting married to that woman. Rather, she is the one marrying you. And believe me, sooner or later, she will destroy you. See, look, Isito, let that be my headache, right? Let it be my headache. And if you continue to sound that lead like this, I will tell you to stop calling us. Do you understand me? You can equally decide not to come to the wedding. If you know what is good for you, you better not call this call. I will call the call. You think you're advising me? I don't need it. Do you understand me? What's that? Chidi! 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 Rubbish. I've listened to Uncle Thomas and I've explained everything to him. I understand why you're angry. You believe I don't know what I am doing. And you believe I don't have no plans for my future. I wish to tell you most sincerely that I know what I am doing. What I share with Melody is love. I do not have a job presently. But that does not mean I am not making effort to be employed. I know I will be employed soon. Understand that Melody loves your son. This is why she caters for me. She believed that things would turn around for better. And she always praying for me. She deserves your love and blessing. If not for anything, love her because she loves your son without minding the fact that he has nothing. I am telling you today that she can lay down her life for your son. We are waiting finally in the private chapel of St. Joseph Church in Asaba on the 27th of this month. Please attend the wedding as my mother that loves me and make me happy forever. I love you mom and I will never let you down. Sister, I have interacted with them and I believe that you judged that woman in a hurry. She is a noble woman, the very definition of humility and above all, she loves your son so, so dearly. I think we should give them a chance. Wow, if you say so, then I believe you. Yes, I met them and I saw love. The love I saw is the agape kind of love. All the need is our support. And I must say this in no uncertain terms, that your son Chidi is making every effort to see that he is employed. And by the special grace of God, I believe that God will answer his prayers very soon. Thomas, will you be attending the wedding? Of course he is. I will be attending with you. It's like I said before, all they need is our support. And that we shall give to them. 
Yes, we shall be going together. It's okay. <laughs> Melody, what I had yesterday was a revelation. <laughs> and I want you to listen, think, and do what is right. If this revelation of yours has anything to do with Chidi, then I will immediately tell you that I am not interested. Melody, you may choose not to listen to every other thing, but trust me, not this revelation, because it boils down to your life. Pretty you're about to get married to will eventually abandon you. And I saw it clearly. He denied you before everybody. And you were even crying like a baby. Finally, you decided to take your own life. Oh, please. Can you just spare me with all these cock and boo stories? Oh, Melody, they are no cock and boo story. It's obvious you're in love with a gold digger that will eventually abandon you. Left for me, you know what I think? I think you should just pick up your phone, call him, and tell him you're no longer interested in this marriage. I possibly cannot tell him that because I am very much interested in the marriage. The same marriage that will force you to commit suicide. Ah, Melody, a beautiful lady like you should be looking for men with class. Men that know how to spoil their ladies with love gifts and above all attention <laughs> come to think of it why do you want to crucify yourself with this low life you can call him whatever name you feel like calling him i have made up my mind to love chidi and love him alone i will go on with the wedding and you my friend are invited to the wedding that's if you want to attend the wedding will hold and you will still be my friend. What has it done to you? You know, this is not you, Melody. Why do you want to enter an open grave? Um, I have a lot of work to do. And I really need to concentrate. <laughs> I don't get that. Are you asking me to leave your office? At least we're not on break time. I'll be. Uh, hi. A second class upper in industrial chemistry from a reputable university in Nigeria. Why can't I get a job? Why? Why? Huh. ability to get a job is beginning to weigh you down and I am not going to let that happen. I, my love, I appreciate your noble concern but I wonder what you're going to do. I wonder. Here's my salary. Accept my offering, which I will give to God. I wonder what I'm going to do with your whole salary. My love, you are the head of this house. 
and you should be in charge of every monetary aspect. This is just our family income and you should decide how we are going to spend it. It will remain until you get a job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I remember when you told me that I judged that woman wrong. You were right. And she's such an angel. Chidi could never have made a better choice. Oh, it is a beautiful knowing that you are the one saying this at last. In fact, it took me a few seconds of close interaction with them to know that that girl is the best woman for your son. You know, he's still unemployed. And yet, she's standing by him solidly. Doing everything, providing, and you won't even know. Of course, yes. Melody takes care of the house. Everything. Everything. She treats Chidi like a child. Hey. Even I wouldn't have done that for my late husband. Oh. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but every day, I pray for them. I pray that she would get pregnant. Ah, <laughs> but you know that pregnancy is a gift from God that only comes when He approves of it. But right now I think Chidi is so busy and preoccupied with his plans of getting employment that he may not be thinking of pregnancy. Mm. Yes, I think we should just allow them to redefine themselves. Hi, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh. You look sweet. Hi, thank you. You got it. I know, um. right? What is it for? Part of the money you gave me last night. It's your money. It is not my money. It is your money. <laughs> okay. It's our money. Better. Our money. So? I thought you should have it. It's 20,000 naira. In case you see anything you like, I'll keep the rest. Okay, okay, okay. As your lordship pleases. Yes, I don't mind. I love you. I love you too. You mean the world to me. I have to leave now. It's okay. Do you have a nice day, okay? You too, baby. Bye. No one, no one could ever be like you.
even when she provides the money, she's still committed to her duties and her responsibilities as a wife. I thought that now that we are finally married, you would have stopped all this. Melody, how can I ever stop? It's so clear to me now that you've lost your head. I have not lost my head. Nelly, why is it that every time we meet, the only thing that you discuss is my husband? And that is because I don't see him as a husband. Uh, Melody, you know, if anybody would have told me way back in school that uh, Miss Melody Okunka would end up being an unreasonable woman that would make her salary and hand it over to a cretin. Trust me, girl, I won't believe it. Nelly. This is the second time that you are calling my husband a cretin, and I want it to be the last. The salary is mine, and I am his. If I decide to spend all my salary on him, it's my business. Um, Melody, uh, okay, fine. But uh, there was this pathetic story <laughs> Emeka GF posted on Facebook. Did you read it? I have too many things on my mind. I don't have time for Facebook. Based on what I got from that story, I can tell you that Chidi is just a time bomb waiting to explode. <laughs> Melody, and trust me, that explosion would tear you into smithereens. Nelly, let that be my headache. I am doing everything I am doing because I love him. If he decides to betray me, I'll join the list of other women who get betrayed by the ones they love. It's no news. At this point, I just say it's your choice because I think I've done so much. Thank you. What's wrong? Thank God. Thank God it's a dream. If it was real, I could have been a dead man. Ah. What was the dream about? The most important thing is that you're here. Yes. Yes. 
wow. Ah, thank God. Baby, what are you doing with your certificates this morning? Um, sweetheart, during that time of infamous strike of university lecturers that lasted for one year, I used that opportunity to get a diploma in event planning and management. So since the white collar job is not coming up, I thought I should use the certificate and start up something. But you told me you don't like venturing into business. My dear, things have changed. Huh? My dream in life is to major in white collar job. But since it's not coming, I have to use the certificate that I have. So just wish me luck because I know what I'm doing. Of course. I know you know what you're doing. And I wish you good luck in anything you decide to do, okay? I know you will succeed. That's the spirit. Thank you very much. I am very happy. Okay, now, are you going to tell me about the dream you had? Are you looking at your time? You'll be late for work. Babe, I saw the look in your face. And I am very sure that it's a bad dream. See, I'm not trying to scare Come on, baby, tell me about it. Okay, okay. I don't mean to scare you with my terrible dreams, but thank God it has turned to be a mere dream. Just go to work. It'll be late. Okay, okay. But promise me you will tell me as soon as I return. Just go to work, I'll tell you. Just go, just go, just go. Okay, um... Your breakfast is on the table, okay? You don't need to tell me. Because I know you always prepare my meal before you go to work. <laughs> I'll eat later, okay? okay. Mm. <laughs> Take care of yourself, right? You too, bye. I love you. Love you too.
Excuse me, young lady. Do you need help? Um, thank you for your concern, sir. I don't know what happened. My car just stopped working. Um, you got a mechanic? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I be of help? Thank you, sir, but I'll be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Pretty dumb, sir. It's all like me. I don't often do this, but I just want to help. Thank you. Um, excuse me. I'm talking to you and you're working out. Pretty dumb, sir. I can take you to wherever you want. Okay? Yes, it's a long... Can, can you please just come and help me? Yes, I'll wait for you. And then you come... What's up? Where are you? Um, I'm home, but I'm on my way to the International Conference Center. Why do you ask? I was going through the mails this morning and I noticed you, you have a letter. Oh, really? Letter from who? Let's see. Let me see. Okay, Escon Petrochemicals Limited. Do you have anything to do with this company? Um, I've written a letter to all the chemical companies in this country. What did the letter say? Oh, I didn't open it. Anyways, I'll be on my way to Lagos for the next couple of minutes. I'll just drop this with my security man, so when you come over, you can pick it up from him. You don't need to give it to the gate man, okay? Just wait for me, I'll be there in 30 minutes time. 30 minutes? I doubt if I'll still be around in 30 minutes anyway. But please, hurry up. Kizit, I'm on my way. Just wait for me, please, please. Please just wait for me, okay? Please. All right, man. Yeah. See you. As Mr. Vested is here to see you. Should I let him in? Mr. Vested? I have never heard that name before. That was the name he gave. Is he here for business? So he said. Okay, let him in. Okay, thank you, madam. of this. 
what are you doing in my office? Oh, are you surprised? You got me curious, and I decided to follow you. Who are you and what do you want in my office? I am Mr. Sylvester Okalako, PhD, but my friends call me Mr. Fested because I first an interest in oil and gas. Um, pretty dumb, sir. I've been following you for weeks now, and I've come to the conclusion that you're the right woman for me. Roses are nice, petals are great, various are superb, but I choose rose because that's you, an emblem for perfect love. By every definition, you're a big girl. Come into my world and you experience total bliss. I am sure you understand what these rings stand for. I am happily married. So if you don't mind, leave my office. Oh, do not dismiss me in a hurry. Because I have noble plans for you. You just leave it with a jobless fool that is trying to drag you to the mud where it is. And you're not happily married and you know it. Mr. Vested or whatever you call yourself, you have no right to talk about my man or my marriage in that manner. Leave my office. Oh, honey, um, the car I actually drove in the morning was a car I bought for you. Please, I have had enough of your nonsense. Just leave my office. I am going to leave, but let me make the point clear. Chibi Ibezim is an opportunist. He will dump you as soon as he gets what he's looking for. Look, I want to take you to the next level, baby. Believe in me, then I will know you're the smart girl I've always believed in. I'm sorry, I never knew you have a visitor. It's okay, sit down, Mr. Bright. Okay. Hi. Don't overstress yourself. Harassment is this. I have never met this man in my entire life other than today. That's the price beautiful women pay. There are many admirers hitting at them. A man can never stop until he gets what he wants from a woman. <sighs> I don't want her to tell you this because I believe you have a personal life. Now everything is up. I think it's high time I told you the truth. I hope you're not here to castigate my man just like all of them do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nobody's castigating your man. We are all telling you the truth. And what is the truth? That I should leave Chidi because he's not gainfully employed? Is it his fault that the Nigerian government is doing nothing to cut down the unemployment rates? He's doing everything he can to get employed. And I am standing by him. There are many men that I've met. Just like the one that left here. I knew him before now. This man sits on money. I mean, he's the Prince of Umuri. If such a man is interested in getting married to you, why don't you marry him and forget the unemployed man? You'll be happy. Mr. Bright, is this not why they say silence is golden? Most people are honorable when they keep their mouth shut. You have showed me your thoughts and your reasoning, and I can see how morally bankrupt you are. I mean, I would have you insult me because I'm telling you the truth. I love Chidi. And that's why I married him, for better and for worse. If you like, get the richest man in this country to be interested in me. I will never betray the love that I have for Chidi. Okay? I'm done with you, Mr. Bright. Get back to work. Everybody's talking about you. Say we should be together They just don't know How I love you so I give my life to you Your application letter 
dated the 17th day of June 2013, refers. We are delighted that you consider our company competent enough to engage a highly qualified young man like you. We have gone through your resume and we write to inform you that we have documented your application. We do this only for those we intend to employ in the future. As we acknowledge the merit in your application, we regret to inform you that we cannot engage you presently. But be assured by this letter that if in the future we start to employ people again, that your application will be given priority attention. Thank you in advance for your anticipated understanding. Sincerely yours, for Escon Petrochemicals Limited, Mr. Igwe Ikechuku. Chidi, what is it? Well, are you not okay with the employment they offered you? They didn't offer me any job. Rather, they wrote to acknowledge my application. And they say they will get back to me when they start employing. I don't know why they should write something like this. They, I prefer they, they keep silent, just like every other company I've written to. <sighs> Chidi, sit down, okay? Come on, have a seat. You see, if you ask me, I think this is a nice one. This is a plus for you. Because this responsible organization that has the courtesy of, of acknowledging your, your application, I believe they will, they will do just as they are promised, yes. Is it? Yeah. I am sick and tired of all these promises. I want to start working and earn my own money. Do you understand what I mean? I want to, I want to touch my money. I want to earn my own money. I want to, I want to earn my own money. Hello? Um, your parents were not wrong when they decided to name you Melody. Your voice sounds so melodious. And uh, I must admit that I'm treed. Who is this please? Oh, uh, my jewel of inestimable value. Sufficed it to say that you are now at the center of my heart. Your love has eaten deep into my veins and capillaries. And I want you to know that someone may die of heart attack if it's being turned down. Listen, I am not going to ask you where you got my number from. Because I know how desperate men like you can be. But from the way you sound, I can tell that you're Leonard. I attended the best secondary school in our nature. But in the 90s, when Jam decided to frustrate their forefathers, not me. I flew down to Kenya and attended the prestigious University of Nairobi. I came out with flying colors, as a matter of fact, and did my first oil contract in Mombasa, served in Kayambu. So you can see that I'm very late -hand. Good. And I am sure you know exactly what it means when a lady says she needs to be left alone. Oh, my pretty damsel. You're getting the point wrong. For the mere fact that you married to that jobless entity, you make sure you alone. He doesn't contribute anything to your life. And that makes you alone and extremely lonely. Let me make your life better. I am very loaded and financially equipped. If you continue to pester me like this, I will have no other choice but to brief the police. Nonsense.
my job is made difficult. Why is she dragging it? Why? Any girl and failed. You are the woman I want to marry. So I will no longer desire another woman in my life. You again? <laughs> oh. You can hardly blame me for having many lies. All the telecommunication companies in Nigeria. I believe I am an important customer and I'm trying to lift that expectation. Please, don't let me get rid of this line. I have all my business contacts in it. Um, you are a woman and you need money. Everyone in this world needs money. And I have enough of it. Let me make you part of my money. <laughs> Send me your account number. And I will deposit one million naira. Immediately. <sighs> what kind of a man is this? He even called me with another number. to believe that this is happening. Her phone was engaged for so long and now it's turned off. You know what? It bothers me when a don, a don like me, relationship matters, talks to you and you don't listen. That woman's phone has been engaged because she has been talking with her boyfriend. You won't believe it. That's a fat lie. That's a fat lie. Melody is a child of God. And she has no boyfriend. And she cannot do such a thing. Oh boy, why are you talking like a child? Eh? Grow up! Say, she finally switched off her phone because she's busy with that man. Possibly in one hotel room. She has to please the man now. She needs concentration. She has to, she has to hit the man. Yes. So have you dropped some money? And you are here, you're telling me that yes, yeah, she is a Christian. She is a Christian. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that's what she does all the time. And that is why she has the audacity to throw a salary on your freaking face. I love Melody with all my heart. Why is she doing this to me? You cost it yourself. Of course, you cost it yourself. I ask you to remain here. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't listen to me. You packed in with a woman because you believe you have seen everything that you needed in a woman, in her. Now, where has it landed you? Hmm? Where has it landed you? The same woman you love is messing around just to put food on your table. In fact, you are a big disgrace. In fact, you are a disgrace to our next day. I'm telling you. Hold on first, hold on. I can see. So now, open your eyes and see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
No. Yes. That's the latest model of Toyota Camry. I bought it today. And it's for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 